you, like many, are probably concerned about coronavirus and how it's going to affect the industry as a whole and your personal career. Find out everything you need to know coming up. Hey guys, Danny here and welcome to my little corner of the internet. Let's just start off with exactly what is coronavirus. Coronavirus is actually a family of respiratory diseases. That includes everything from the common cold to more rare forms like SARS, MERS, and the current outbreak, which is called COVID-19. Saying coronavirus is as nonspecific as calling a mammal a canid. This could be anything from a dog to a wolf to a fox to a coyote. So what the actual term for this current outbreak is COVID-19. It's not coronavirus. So again, coronavirus is the family of respiratory diseases. Coronavirus in and of itself is nothing to fear because like I said earlier, when you have a common cold, you technically have coronavirus. But this current outbreak, COVID-19, is a completely different matter. So it was first detected on December 31st, 2019. That's actually where the 19 comes from in the COVID-19 part. So on the very last day of the year, this is when this virus was first detected. By January 8th, it had spread to Thailand, and by the 15th, it had spread to Japan. By the 20th, it was in Korea. By the 23rd, it was in Singapore. And by the 25th, it was in Canada and Nepal. By the 26th, it was in Mexico. By the 30th, it was in the US. And by the 31st, it was in the UK. From January 31st to February 2nd, the death toll went from 213 people to 259 people to 305 people. And just a few days later, by February 7th, the death toll had risen to 638 people. And at the time of this recording, not even a month after that, the death toll has risen to 3,000 people, over 3,000 people. So as you can see, the reason why this disease is so scary is because it spreads so quickly and it's killing people at an exponential rate. This disease is bringing entire industries to its knees. Films are being canceled, travels are being canceled, people are being quarantined. It is very, very scary. But the most important thing is keeping yourself safe. Being in the music industry makes you very vulnerable to this disease because of the sheer amount of people that you interact with just being in music. So if you are currently on tour or planning on being on tour in the very near future, the first thing that I would suggest to do is cancel all meet and greets. What makes this virus so deadly and so scary and so uncertain is the fact that it can be spread before a person is symptomatic. So you can feel fine, you think you're fine, and you are in contact with other people and you are spreading this dangerous disease. So it is best to cancel all meet and greets at this point because you do not want to be shaking hands and hugging hundreds to thousands of strangers because you never know where anyone else has been who they've been in contact with, and if they even have the infection or disease because they are still asymptomatic. You might want to also consider canceling shows in countries or regions where this disease is currently hitting the hardest. Um, bands like BTS and Green Day have actually canceled their Asian shows due to the outbreak. Wiping down equipment regularly is vital. Whether you are just going to a small studio or you are using another venue's equipment or you are doing a large concert, it is important that you are bringing around with you disinfectant wipes and wiping absolutely everything down. Just like if you have a common cold or the flu, if someone has maybe coughed into their hand and touched a surface, 
the germs and bacteria are now on that surface. If you touch that surface and then you're touching yourself, whether you're performing, wiping your hair out of your face, what have you, you are allowing those germs and bacteria to enter your body and then you can get infected as well. So it is very important that you are sanitizing, sterilizing, wiping down equipment and washing your hands as frequently and often as possible. Specifically, microphones need to be wiped down regularly because as you talk, obviously there's gonna be spit that is going and touching the surface of that microphone. And if you guys are sharing microphones or you're using a venue's microphone, that can very easily end up being transferred. So that is something that you need to look out for. I know a large portion of my audience lives in either Canada or the US, and I know that all of this stuff sounds very, very scary, but I would like to reassure you that you do not need to be freaked out at this point. You need to be cautious, yes. You need to be aware, yes. But you do not need to be freaking out. Even me, who lives in Toronto, who there I think there's been about four confirmed cases in Toronto alone, I am not changing my daily life and I am not freaking out. I go about my day as normal. The only thing that is different is that I do make an effort to be cognizant of what I'm touching and wiping things down more often and washing my hands more often and making sure I'm not touching myself, um, like my face and stuff like that, um, as I might normally have. But other than that, I am not taking any other types of precautions or anything like that. I'm not wearing a face mask when I go outside because as far as we know, at this point, there is nothing to freak out about in North America. It is not spread as rapidly or as many cases in North America. So I do want to reassure everyone that to just take a very deep breath and like I said, be aware, be cautious, but there's no reason to freak out. If you liked this video or found it helpful, give it a thumbs up or consider subscribing. I make weekly music related content, but you can also keep up with me on either my Instagram or my Twitter. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.